Hello everyone, welcome back to another Calamity video, this is episode 4, and in this video I want to be fighting the Eater of Worlds, maybe farm them a little bit, depending on how much time I have. Um, I also want to build some actually good houses for the NPCs, maybe explore the Abyss, who knows, I don't know if I can even survive there yet, and um, maybe upgrade my weapon. There's um, a couple things that I want to do, well, let's just get right to it, I think I'm going to do the Eater of Worlds fight first since I already have the worm food. Okay, so it turns out that the Eater of Worlds theme is so unbearably loud that you can't even hear my voice, much less any game sound over it. So, instead of an actual official Eater of Worlds fight, you get a time lapse of that fight with um, some added in music that I chose myself. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay everyone, so it's actually been a couple days, probably about three days, since I recorded that last clip. Um, basically, I took a break from Calamity. I wanted it to stay fresh and exciting for you and me. Um, and yeah, this, these houses that I built for the NPCs over here, this one's for the Builder, and this one is for the Dryad. I'm actually really proud of these houses. I think they're pretty good, at least for NPC houses. Um, I especially like this one. Uh, these took about five to six hours to make both of them. Um, I also forgot to mention this is my first custom tree I've ever made. I think it's pretty good for my, you know, my first tree. But as far as trees go, this isn't the best. I also think the inside of this house is a little too plain. I'm still gonna probably modify that a little bit. But yeah, I wanted to make a elevator finally. Now there is an auto elevator in the Louis AFK mod. Now I think I'm actually going to not use that, at least for my first elevator. I think it's just a little overpowered. Um, so I am going to do a elevator time lapse, me digging that. Then uh, once I do that, I'm going to mine Hellstone, and we'll see what happens from there. Um, I'm probably going to beat Skeletron in the next episode. So yeah, elevator time lapse, go.
So before I show you everything that I got from the underworld, I do want to show you my automatic tree farm. This, this is um, designed by the Louis AFK mod. So you have to have that installed to use this. Um, as you can see, there's a tree harvester right here. It's a green looking chest and it automatically harvests and replants trees within a 50 tile radius of this chest. Is it a little overpowered? Maybe, but it's definitely a huge relief not to have to worry about mining wood ever. Now, mining wood's not difficult, but it can be annoying, especially when you have to replant the trees. And once you replant the trees, they barely grow back like they do in the wild, so... So that's always a huge help to have this. Um, so yeah, let's show off the stuff that I got from the Underworld. As you can see, I have a set of Molten Armor on. You all know what that is, it's from the base game. It's the best set in pre-hard mode. I'm guessing it's not in Calamity though, so uh, we'll see about that. But it is in the base game, so that's cool. I also have the Cinder Blossom Staff. Let's see if we can actually get this thing to fire at any enemies. Um, it's really powerful. Um, even if you miss, you still have the chance to hit because the fire goes along the ground. And if any mobs walk over it, um, then they will get damaged. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, tomorrow's episode is going to be really cool. I'm going to be doing three boss fights. So be prepared for Skeletron, Krabulon, and the Hive Mind. It's going to be a triple boss fighting episode. So hopefully that is going to be easy and not too much of a struggle. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe. I hope to see you in the next episode of Calamity. Bye everyone.